Hi, my name is Monica. This is Unity Yoga and Pilates. So a lot of my videos have been Yoga Pilates Fusion, which is one of my favorite formats to teach. Um, some of them have been more pure yoga. But before I taught anything else, before I took a single yoga class, Pilates was my first love. Um, and I just wrote a blog about it recently on my um, blog post, to be a happy Um And I believe very strongly in the health benefits of Pilates for your back health, for your posture, for your um, core strength, um, lots and lots of benefits. So I encourage everybody to try Pilates. Sometimes it seems scary going to a studio for the first time. So I offer you this as an alternative. So I'm going to have, um, I'll do hopefully a few of these, but I at least want to have one beginner, one intermediate, and one advanced practice um, so that different people can find the level that's best for them. When I teach in a class setting, I usually kind of do a mix of everything. But um, today I'm going to focus on beginners. So if this is your very first time trying Pilates, or if you've only taken a few classes, this is definitely the practice for you. I'm going to talk through the things a little bit more, um, and I'm going to do the modified versions of the practice so you don't feel like you're like killing yourself and your abs are super hurting tomorrow. Um, if you're if you've practiced before, but maybe it's been a while, or if you just want a refresher, I'm going to talk more about technique in this. So we have about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes, um, just because I want to talk through some things. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, you can certainly leave them in the comments. You can also visit my blog and my, um, you can email me from that. Okay? So first thing I want to talk about is the breath. So in yoga, we inhale through our nose and exhale through our nose. Pilates is a little bit different. Um, we exhale through our mouth. The reason is, so you have uh, multiple abdominal muscles. What we usually think of are the obliques, which are the six pack, if you will. Underneath that are muscles that we don't really see, but they are the muscles that, number one, keep our tummy really tight and flat, and also they're the ones that really support our spine. Our obliques are not in any way useless, but they are kind of superficial. Where the ones that are underneath, those are the ones that are really going to keep us lifted, um, keep the spine long and straight, and, and really create that kind of tight, flat tummy that we're looking for. The only way to reach those muscles is actually with that breath. Um, doing crunches and doing exercises does not reach those muscles. So in Pilates, we're going to inhale through our nose, and we're going to exhale through our lips. Some people do an open mouth exhale. That's fine too if you prefer. Sometimes it's going to be quick, and sometimes it'll be slower. In each instance, we want to exhale all of that air. I want you to put your hands on your abdomen. Take an inhale, exhale through your lips. Do you feel that tightening? That tightening is those muscles working. It goes all the way to the pelvic floor. Um, tightening the pelvic floor muscles, sometimes called the, the kegels or the kegels, is also really important in both men and in women for, for different reasons. But this exhalation is going to get all of our, those abdominal muscles plus those deep pelvic floor muscles. I have my original teacher used to say, if you're not doing the breathing, you're missing 90% of the exercise. And I tend to agree with her. So I'm going to remind you throughout the practice to breathe. If you're new, don't worry about it. The breathing is a whole another level of coordination. Just make sure you are breathing. And if you're more comfortable breathing through your nose, that's fine too. As you get on in the practice, um, the breathing becomes really part of the, the rhythm of it and you'll, and you'll get it. Okay? So come on down to your backs to start. I do teach a very classic Pilates, so um, the pure Pilates, as sometimes it's called, I was trained in balanced body Pilates, um, but I teach a very classic format. So if you go to another classic Pilates class, you're going to find a lot of the similar exercises. Pilates, like anything else, has is dynamic, it has grown, it has changed, and everybody has their own style. So if this doesn't work for you, just try a different teacher. And my sessions are different as well, but this will be pretty, pretty classic. Okay. So you're going to come down to your back. The most important thing is that we want to work our abdominal muscles, not strain our back muscles. There are moments when we will work our back, but mostly we're working here. We want to protect our back. The way we protect our back is we get rid of this arch that's under here, okay? So we're going to practice moving the pelvis here. So roll those shoulders down and back, palms of the mat, chin towards chest. And I want you to tilt your pelvis down, which puts that arch in your back. And then I want to tilt your pelvis up without lifting and press your back into the mat. Add the breath. Good. 
Good, now find neutral. Belly button pulls in towards the spine, tighten the abdominal muscles, press that back into the mat. Throughout the practice, at any point, if your back arches up, you're taking it too far. Bring it in. Keep that back down. It's going to keep your back from hurting, and it's going to make your muscles and your abdominals work. Okay? We're going to practice the pelvic tilt and taking it up a little bit higher. So inhale. As you lift the hips towards the ceiling, exhale. As you bring them back down. Two more times like that. Inhale. Keeping the knees parallel, thighs parallel. Inhale. We're going to add the arms to that. So as you inhale, the arms reach up overhead. As you exhale, they come back down. Two more times like that. Inhale. Last time. Good, go ahead and just swish your legs side to side. Loosen up the hips, loosen up the pelvis. Okay, one of the first most classic Pilates exercises is called the hundreds. I'm gonna give you level one and level two as options today. I'm not gonna take to the highest level in this practice. You can choose, you can stay at level one or you can go to level two if you prefer, all right? At any time that we have our head lifted, I want you to think about a soft piece of fruit, like a peach or a tomato, between your chin and your chest. You don't want it to roll off, but you also don't want to smush it, all right? So it's like the size of your fist or a tennis ball. In the hundreds, we're going to inhale for a five count, exhale for a five count. Arms come up just above your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders. Shoot the fingertips down towards the toes. Pull the belly button in, don't let your back arch. The idea is to keep this part of our body completely stable. So imagine you have like a tall glass of water, maybe it's champagne, or maybe a hot cup of coffee. You don't want to spill it, okay? Keep this really, really tight. We're going to inhale for five, exhale for five as we pump our arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. If this is going well, and you feel like I could take this to a little bit harder level, you can go ahead and lift your knees to tabletop. You'll notice it gets a lot harder. So if you start to arch your back, or if you start to move all over the place, just put those feet back down, okay? Inhale, and exhale. Head is, is stable, shoulders are stable, abdominals are stable. Only thing moving is our arms. Inhale. And exhale, last time, and exhale, two, three, four, and five. Good, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. If you're not used to this breathing, sometimes it can feel a little funny and like a little dizzy, just go back to normal breathing. It comes with time, okay? Don't stress. That's the last thing you want. Okay, leg stretch series. So there are four, five, exercises really in this series. There's two pairs of two and then a fifth freestanding one. All right, first one is called a single leg stretch. I want you to bring your right knee into your body. Hold on to your right ankle and below, not on, your right knee. I always like to protect our joints. Extend your left leg straight up in the air. Pull the belly button in, press the back into the mat. Your elbows are gonna stay wide. Lift your head and shoulders. Inhale, pull that right leg in. Switch, left leg. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, right hand, right ankle, exhale, left hand, left ankle. Actively pull it in and extend. Try to get your leg absolutely straight and absolutely hugged in. Good. And two. Last one. Good. And release that down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock. I try to do the breathing as much as possible with you, but obviously it's real hard to do when I'm talking. That doesn't mean you stop. All right, double leg stretch, both legs, both arms. Lift up, tuck yourself into a little teeny ball. We're gonna hug both knees in. Inhale, arms and legs go up, you're like a letter U. Exhale, back into a ball. Inhale, exhale. Pull that belly button in, don't arch the back. Two more times. Inhale. 
exhale. And release that down. Good. Single straight leg stretch does the double duty of working your abs and also stretching your hamstrings. So try to get your legs as straight as possible. If you have um, tight hamstrings and your legs are bent, that's fine. You're just always striving towards straight legs. You're going to extend the right leg straight up in front of you. You can hold on to your thigh or if you can reach your calf, that's fine. Don't hold on to your knee. If you're more flexible and you reach your ankle, that's fine too. Extend your left leg in front of it. They're like scissors. Lift your head and shoulders. Eyes to thighs, chin to chest. Inhale, pull that right leg in. Exhale, switch. Inhale. You are actively pulling it in. See my muscles on my arms? We actively pull that leg in and switch. Inhale. Inhale. Last one. And release down, hug the knees into the chest. If your low back is staying pressed into the mat, you shouldn't be feeling any pain there, so be really aware of that. Double straight leg stretch. Take your hands, sit on top of them, so your fingertips are pointing out. Extend both legs straight up. Notice that it's, I'm making a letter L, right? Legs are right over my hips. I'm not lifting my butt up in the air, okay? Bottom is on the floor. Feet are flexed, shoulders down and back, chin towards chest, even though our head's going to stay on the mat this time. We're going to inhale as we lower our legs a few inches. <sighs> Exhale, pull back up. Really important not to arch your back on this one. <sighs> Three more. Inhale, I like feet flexed on this one. And then point to bring them up. A little extra coordination for you. <sighs> Last one, inhale. <sighs> Exhale, pull it in. That works the upper part of your six pack. So we've got all the oblique muscles and then those transversus abs and multifidi with the breath. All right. Next, crisscross. Knees are going to come right over hips. <coughs> Excuse me. Feet are going to point straight out. As you bring your knees closer in, it's easier. As you push them away, it's harder. Find that point where your belly is working, but your back is still on the mat. On this one, I want you to keep your elbows really wide away from your head. Lift the head and shoulders, elbows wide. We're not pulling on our neck. It's just our head is resting in it. We're going to twist from side to side, and we're going to come back to the middle in between. So we're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, the knee comes in as you twist to the same side, and you try to bring the knee past the elbow. Don't worry about touching your elbow. Keep the elbow wide. Touch the back elbow to the mat. Back to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale back to center. <sighs> Inhale to center. <sighs> Notice my elbows stay wide. I'm trying to touch the back elbow to the mat. I'm not worrying so much about the front elbow. Good. <sighs> Last cycle. And back to center and release down. Hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Good. Place your feet on the floor and just tilt your hips up to the sky. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Good. Bring yourself back down. Good. Bring yourself up to a sitting position. This next one is called rolling like a ball. So, we're going to tuck ourselves into a little teeny ball. What this is training us to do is work in C curves. So in yoga, a lot of times we work with a long straight spine. In Pilates, a lot of times we work with a C curve, a more rounded curve. Okay? Neither one is right nor wrong. They serve different purposes, and I encourage you to be able to work in both of them. If you have spinal issues, if you have osteoporosis, if you have particularly a particularly kind of knobby spine, if you're on a harder surface, any of these things might bother your back. So in that case, you're just going to balance, okay? So everyone come to the top of the mat. Hold on to your ankles or your shins. Lift your feet off the mat. So your back is long and tall. Shoulders are down and back. Chin is tucked slightly short towards the chest. That yapping dog is driving me crazy. If only I knew how to get rid of him at least, but I do not. Okay, you're going to pull your belly button in towards your spine. You're going to tilt your hips back. Rock down to shoulders. 
and then come back up, trying not to touch your feet onto the mat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If you go back with a flat back, you're likely to hurt your neck, hurt your back. I don't recommend it. If you get stuck, like a bug on your back, that's okay. Just give yourself some momentum and see if you can come up. It gets easier with time, okay? Place your feet on the floor. Extend your legs long in front of you. If you have a ball, you can grab your ball. You can do this without a ball. You could actually alternatively use a yoga block, a lightweight yoga block, not a heavy one, a foam one, if you wanted for this. Totally optional. Separate your feet a little bit so you're like a narrow piece of pizza. Hold on to the ball or the block or nothing, pressing it between your hands. Also a yoga ring, I don't happen to have one, but if you have a yoga ring, you can use that here. Spine stretch forward, it's a rounded spine pulling the belly button in. The idea is to reach forward. I don't care about how low you can go. It's about how far forward you can go. Shoulders are down and back. Gaze is forward, chin to chest. Chin to chest. Inhale, exhale, stretch forward. Inhale to reset, exhale, stretch. Inhale to reset. Two more times. Inhale. And come back to sit. Place that ball down. Or walk. Okay, uh, the saw. The saw is called the saw because it's like you're sawing off your pinky toe with your pinky finger. I don't know. You could just call it toe reach if you wanted. Lift up tall. Arms are extending for this one. It's a twisting maneuver. We're going to try to reach past our toe, okay? Inhale. Lift and twist as you exhale. Ear turns towards the knee, front palm flips down, back palm flips up. Inhale back to center, other side. Inhale back to center. Last round each side. And release back to center. Okay. I'm looking to see how dirty my feet were. I'm just outside walking around. Okay. This one is a twist, uh, twist to either side. Um, I'm sorry, a lateral bend to either side. So I want you to sit up nice and tall. Inhale, extend those arms up. Good. Shoulders down and back. Exhale, we're going to laterally bend to the side. So left arm's going to go down. Right arm's going to reach over. Let that arm relax, it's on the mat. Maybe it comes all the way to the mat. And just bend into that for a moment. Gonna press yourself up. Inhale, exhale to the other side. Take a breath into the ribs. Good, and come back up. And I did want to do the twisting one, I just want to do that next. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. Not all the way together, but just some little space between. Sit up tall. I call this genie in a bottle. Chin to chest, shoulders down and back. Inhale and twist. Back to center on the inhale. Exhale to twist. Inhale. One more each side. Good. Now with those legs together, we're just going to forward fold. This time thinking about a long spine, so more like a yoga. So inhale, exhale, you reach, 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 long spine. As far as you can reach, let the arms go down. So now you'll notice that my spine is long, not rounded. Gaze is just past my toes. I'm extending out of this low back. And now just forward fold like in yoga, releasing it down. Next exercise we're going to do, spinal roll-up. It combines that spine stretch forward that we did with the idea of rolling back with our belly button pulled in. Bend your knees. Hold on to the backs of your thighs to roll yourself down to the mat. Good. Just jumping my time. All right. Feet on the mat. Shoulders down the back. 
Your breath will help you with this one. Strong breath, faster movement on the up will help you get up, okay? And I'll show you modifications if you're having a hard time with it. it you'll get the hang of it, but sometimes it's hard at first. Inhale, arms straight up from shoulders. I really don't like to reach them overhead. You end up using too much momentum, you can hurt your shoulders. Arms straight up from shoulders, knees bent. Inhale, quickly roll up with the exhale. If that didn't work for you, if you're stuck, hold on to your thighs. Inhale, pull yourself up. Inhale again, extend the legs. Exhale, stretch forward. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, pull that belly button in, and now as slowly as you can go, roll all the way down. Again, inhale, exhale, roll up. Inhale, exhale, stretch forward. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, pull the belly button in, roll all the way down. Four more times. Inhale, exhale, roll up. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. As slow as you can go, pull that belly button, then you can go slow, 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 all the way down. Two more, inhale, exhale, roll up, inhale, exhale, stretch forward, bend the knees, inhale, exhale, pull the belly button. And you can also, if you get tired or if you just tend to fall back, support yourself with your thighs. Inhale, so you could pull yourself up. You could exhale, stretch forward. Inhale, and you can exhale, hold on as you control yourself all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock. Okay, perfect. For this next one, I want you to, I had to think about what I wanted to do for a second. Just come on to your back again, palms on the mat. Bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Place the left foot on the floor. Extend the right leg long, okay? Belly button in, palms down by the side. On this one, we're gonna work in turnout. So from your hip, rotate your foot out or your whole leg out and point your toes, okay? We're gonna make little circles, just like before. I want you to keep your abdominal area stable even though your leg is moving. Move that leg away just a little bit so this, has, this one has room to move. We're going to inhale for the first half of the circle, exhale to finish, okay? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three, and two. Last one. Reverse it. Inhale, going out, down, and around. Notice my hips. If you find your hips are moving, put your hands on them to see if you can help them stay steady. And two. Last one. Pull that leg in. Extend the other leg along the mat. Giving yourself a stretch. Bend that knee. Cross that right ankle over that left thigh. Press that right knee away for a moment. And then if you'd like, lift up that left thigh, hold on behind it, open your hip for a moment. And release that. Place the right foot on the floor, extend the left leg. Again, belly button in, not arching the back, shoulders down and back, chin to chest. Outwardly rotate from the hip, point the toe. Inhale. Exhale to finish. Move the foot away if you need, just to create some space for that leg to move. Exhale to finish. And three, and two, the last one. Have you spilled your drink or did you get it at the end of class? Reverse, inhale, exhale. I like to think of like a nice glass of rosé waiting for me. And if I don't spill it, I get the reward. Last one, inhale, exhale, good. Bend the leg, extend the opposite one, give yourself a hug. Place that foot on the floor, cross the opposite leg over, push the knee away. And grab a hold behind. It doesn't matter if you ever do right leg or left leg first. Just make sure you go. Good. 
and release that and bring yourself up. Same position and then come up over onto hands and knees. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Okay, so just like we did on our backs, I want us to do our same, that same thing from hands and knees. In yoga, we call this cow-cat. We're going to tilt our pelvis down, back arches, chest lifts, shoulders pull back. Exhale, pull the pelvis under, press up, round that back, press into the palms, belly button to the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Finding neutral spine. Belly button towards the spine. So back is flat. So now whatever beverage you have on your stomach, it's now on your back. So I want you to keep this nice and stable. No more arching and rounding. It's neutral. Belly button is pulling in towards the spine, so abdominals are engaged, okay? We're going to lift the right knee, pull it towards the chest, might not get there all the way, and extend, okay? I like to inhale on the extension. Exhale to draw in. Inhale to extend. Good. Three more. Inhale. Inhale. Last one, inhale, good. From here, make little circles with that leg that's extended. Either direction, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And pause, place that knee down. Extend the other leg. Inhale, exhale, draw it in. Inhale, exhale, draw it in. Three more. Notice how still my back is. It's not tilting side to side. It's not arching. Extend and hold. And make little circles one direction. Eight, seven, six, five. Notice they're little. Four, three, two, and one. Not giant, right? Place that knee down. Stretch back on your heels. Child's pose for a moment. Good. Come back up to hands and knees, hands underneath shoulders. Come up to a plank. From plank, drop down on your knees. So now you'll see you're at an angle. It's not here, tabletop. It's here. It's a modified plank. If you prefer, you can do this from your forearms if you have wrist issues. Pull the belly button in. Contract the gluteals. We're not dropping our hips. We're also not sticking our bottoms up, okay? We're holding right here. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and just hold it. Exhale. As you exhale, feel the abdominal muscles contract, supporting you. If your arms start to shake, that means they're working. It's okay. Good. We're going to lower down to the mat as slowly as we can. Pull the elbows by the side. Lower the chest to the floor. Ribs and hips. Good. Inhale, slide those hands out in front of you, pressing yourself up onto your forearms. Chest and chest, chest and chin are lifted. Legs are extended behind us. We're going to do single leg kicks. It's like kicking your own butt, quite literally. All right? So it's an exhale as you kick, and then an inhale. Imagine a rubber band, an elastic band, stretching that leg so it's resisting on the way down. Try to pull your belly button away from the mat. It might be on the mat, but we're just not slumping into it, right? We're lifting. Good. Right leg first. Inhale, exhale three times. <sighs> Inhale, resist on the way down. Foot is flexed. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Foot is pointed. Good. <sighs> Inhale, again, trying to stay stable. Exhale, exhale, exhale. My whole body isn't moving around. Inhale. Last round. Last one. And release. Bring yourself all the way down to your mat. Turn your head over one shoulder. Let your arms come down by your side. And just relax. Take a breath into the body. Good. 
Okay. Bring your head back to center. Bring your hands in front of you. Inhale, press yourself up to like a cobra in yoga. Elbows by the side. Exhale, release yourself down. Inhale, lift yourself up. Notice my shoulders are back. Elbows are down. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Exhale down. This time, we're going to float the hands off the mat. Inhale, lift up, and then see how high you can lift without your hands. Contract your glutes to protect your back. Exhale, lower down. Hands come to the mat. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Press into hands. Press up and back. Coming to child's pose. Take a couple breaths. Good. Bring yourself up. We're going to come to a side plank. So again, you can do this from forearm, or you can do this from hands. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you from forearm, which is the modified way, but you can do it from your hand as well. We're going to be modified on our leg today. So your knee is going to be bent, the bottom knee is going to be bent, you're on forearm or you're on your um, palm, and we're going to lift up, we're going to hold here. If you'd like, you can extend that arm, and we're going to hold it. If you'd like to see it on your hand, it's here, okay? Either way is fine. We're pushing up the hip. On this arm, try not to reach way back here. See if you can bring it straight up if you have a mirror available. Sometimes helps. Couple more breaths. Good. Back to center. Over to the other side. I'm just going to turn around. Start my back will be to you. So again, you can come to forearm. Or you can come to your arm, your hand rather, and we're going to lift the opposite of the arm. Again, hips are pressing up, belly is pulling in. We're not reaching this arm way back here. See how that puts my shoulder in a nice, not nice position? Your arm might start to shake. That means it's working. Good, and release that down. Come back over onto your hands or your forearms and come back to that modified plank position. Chest is lifted, belly is pulling in. If this is too easy and you want to come to full plank, that's fine. And again, if it's bothering your wrists and you want to come down to forearms, that's fine too. But we don't want to drop our hips and we don't want to stick our butts up, okay? Hold it for five, four, three, two, last one, release it down. Turn your head and look over your other shoulder. Let yourself melt into the mat for a moment. Again, then bring your hands under you, push yourself up. Come back to a sitting position. Okay, we are going to do a teaser. So this is a teaser prep. So it's a modified teaser. We will not do full teaser until we lose advanced practice. All right? So long spine, just like we've done before. Belly button pull it in. Shoulders rolling down and back. Other times we've gone down with a rounded spine. This time it's going to be a long spine. Hold on to your thighs for support and hinge yourself back. So belly is in, chest is lifted, back is long and straight, but chin is still towards chest. You don't want to be here, okay? If this feels good to you, you can stay there. Otherwise, you can extend your arms. We're going to hold this. This time, take an inhale. Exhale, pull up. Inhale, come back to here. Exhale, pull up. Inhale, come back. We're not coming all the way up, notice. This would be all the way up. That's too easy. <laughs> we want to be working. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Last time. 
exhale. If you still feel good, stay here. If you need to, hold on to thighs instead. If you're here and you're happy, can you lift those arms up? Not all the way overhead. Protect your shoulders. Open them out. Pull them back in. Two more like that. Lift them up. Open out. Pull them back in. Last time, lift up. Open out. Pull them back in. Exhale. Pull all the way up. And give yourself a little bit. How are we feeling? Good? Okay. Tabletop. We're almost done with the hard stuff. Hands right under shoulders. Knees are bent. Motorcycle goes by. Little uh, distance between your feet, like about hips distance. Two things I want you to think about on this one. Hips and shoulders. We're going to do it twice. All right? So we're going to press up. Once you get to here, that's good. You're almost there. Can you lift the hips higher? Notice my shoulders. Can you pull the shoulders back? Keep looking at your belly button. This puts a lot of pressure on your neck. Good. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And lower it down. Good. Extend the legs. Forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Good. Bring yourself up. We're going to do that one more time. Knees bent. Feet on the floor. Push yourself up. Lift the hips all the way up. Pull the shoulders all the way back. Good. While you're here, can you come up on your, the ball of one foot? Option. You don't need to do this if this is too much. This is a little challenge option. This is a modification of the leg pull up. Good. Alternating one more time. You're just breathing otherwise. And lower all the way down. Good. Extend those legs. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Release, release, release. Let the head go. Take a breath. And give me a second. Nice. Okay. A little balancing for us. Sitting here, bring your, which is easier for you to see, come to here, lift those tabletop, I mean lift those tabletop, lift those legs and bring them to tabletop. So you're holding on to calves or to ankles, shoulders are down and back, chest is lifted. And can you just balance here? In the next class will roll from here, but this time I just want you to balance. Can you extend one leg? Do you, do you fall? It's okay. Bring it back in. Extend the other leg. Bring it back in. One more time. And in. The last one. And in. Place the feet down. Bring yourself all the way to the mat. Okay. Double leg circle. So like we did before, hands are going to be under our body. Legs are going to be straight up. Feet are going to be flexed. We're going to make circles with our legs squeezed together. Okay? We're going to inhale. And exhale. Actually, this is corkscrew, sorry, because we're going to go the opposite direction. Inhale. And exhale. I changed my mind mid-exercise. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse the circle. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Now we're going to do double leg circles. For this one, extend the legs straight up. We're going to lower the legs down a little bit. Open them, bring them back up. Squeeze them together. Inhale to lower. Exhale to swoop them back up. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse that. Open them. Inhale. Squeeze together. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze together. Exhale. Last one. And bring the knees to the chest. Give yourself a hug. Rock yourself up to sit. Great, we're going to come to standing. So when you come over onto your hands and knees, and then just rock over onto your feet. You're hanging over. Bend your knees and roll yourself up. Okay, we're going to do Pilates style push-ups. 
but like regular push-ups with a twist. We're going to inhale up, exhale, dive forward. Walk out for four, three, two, one. Drop down to knees, find that modified plank, hands should be right under shoulders, and we're going to do three push-ups, elbows by our side. You can just go partly down or you can come all the way to the mat. Exhale to press up. Good. And two. Last one. Curl your toes under, press yourself up so you're in a downward facing dog. And then walk your hands back. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knees and roll yourself up. This round, hands are going to be wide. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Walk out for four, three, two, one. Drop the knees. Take that moment to find your modified plank. Hands out wider, but right under shoulders. And now we're going to come down for three, for two, for one. We don't want to go past 90, but you can do less than that. Bring those hands back to center. Curl the toes under. Walk back for four, three, two, one. Let your head hang for a moment. Hold on to opposite elbows. Give yourself a little sway, a little rock from side to side. Release the arms, let the head go. Bend the knees and roll yourself all the way up. Shoulders down the back. Good. Bring the feet together. Take an inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, leaning over to one side, to your left if you wish. As you lean to the left, the weight goes to the right and you push out through your right hip. Inhale, lift back to center, shoulders down. Exhale to the other side. Still breathing, but maybe not quite as forcefully now. Inhale, exhale. Good. Last posture check. Feet are right underneath hips. I often, when I say hips distance, people often stand like this. Your hips are not that wide, my darling. Bring your feet closer together, okay? So it's not all the way here. Right under our hips. That gets us in a most neutral position. Other thing to think about is can you begin to lift the arches of your feet off the mat? Not by rolling out your feet, but think about rolling your thighs out, contracting your glutes. That will actually help lift the arches. What are your knees doing? We don't want to lock our knees, right? So it's a little bit of a soft knee position. Right now, less contraction when we're, when we're working. But you want some contraction here in your quadriceps, here in your gluteals, and here in your spine to keep you lifted so we're not like this, right? Zip that all up. Bring your hands to your hips. Think about that same pelvic tilt we did at the beginning. A lot of us tend to go here. We stick out our chest, we stick out our bottoms. It might look cute but it doesn't do us any favors here. Think about pulling that pelvis under, belly in, finding a more neutral position. It has nothing to do with the size of your butt. It has everything to do with the position of your spine, okay? Zip those ribs in, belly button towards the spine, shoulders down and back, and still chin to chest. A lot of us end up here, because we're at computers all day, we're driving, we're on our phones. Pull the chin up. Pull the shoulders back without arching. Just think about opening through here. Good, palms down by our side. Excellent, now make sure you can still breathe. Open your mouth and let it go. See how that feels in your body. Can you find that sense of posture and alignment without being rigid? This is not the brains, right? Let it go. Take an inhale, extend those arms up. Exhale, let it go. One more cleansing breath together, inhaling. Open your mouth and let it go. And that's all. Thank you so much for joining me. This was my first pure Pilates practice um, of my series of videos. I will be doing two more subsequently for more intermediate and more advanced practitioners. Um, so keep practicing, keep doing your thing. If you have questions, leave them in the comments section. And I will see you next time. My name is Monica. This has been Unity Yoga and Pilates. Thank you.